Now what? <laughs> now the key of D and the Arkansas Traveler. See my right hand, can you? Hmm. Let's try this. I'm not going to start again. Okay, I didn't play it perfect. I didn't know what I was going to play. Except I do follow certain paths and avoid others. For instance, I rarely do this. My um, basic framework is more like often use my thumb. Very guitarist, guitar-ish. Or I might go. old-time fiddle players play it like that. I thought that was made for a better tune. That's a good one. common way of hearing the second part, the high part is. And it's okay, but I find because it follows a regular pattern, it lends itself to parody. friendly thing to do to your accompanist. <laughs> but um, sometimes instead of, I'll go. Or with no pickup. One. One, one two, three, four. picking pattern I did um, in the other tunes in the Miller's Reel and uh, 
Wagner. Play the low part an octave higher. Does any of that need to be slowed down to see what I'm doing or hear what I'm doing? Technically, it's all pretty simple. It's mostly down and up. I'll do some of it slow, just in case. <laughs> That's easier to play slow than it would be up to speed. Anyway, I hope I gave you some nice ideas for the Arkansas Traveler on the guitar, in the key of D, without a capo, with a flat pick. Bye.